Hi everyone, why do we need trigonometry? Do we even require it? To answer these questions, we are back with a new video on glass line trigonometry. And hey, thank you so much for the overwhelming response on the videos on polygons and quadrilaterals. We have received requests for more than 100 out sessions so far. Please keep them coming at info at the .com or 9650177361. Alright, let us begin the topic. Hi students, welcome. In the chapter trigonometry, we will study five topics. What is trigonometry? Trigonometric ratios, ratios of complementary angles, trigonometric equations, solution of a right angles triangle. In this video, we will talk about the first topic, what is trigonometry? So what is trigonometry actually? Let us take an example to understand. We can measure the height of a person using an inch tape. But can we measure the height of a tower? Even if we can do it in multiple attempts, there has to be an easy way to do it. That easy way is given by trigonometry. Now let's see how. Suppose I am standing in front of this star. When I see the top of the star, my line of sight is this line joining my eyes E and star top D. When I look straight, my line of sight is this horizontal line which meets the star at B. So this becomes a right angled triangle 1 with B as 90 degrees. Let's say that the star touches the ground at G. Now it is easy for me to measure my distance EB from the star. And I can also find this angle theta made by my line of sight with the horizontal line. Theta is just a representation of an angle. Now I can find this vertical side DB if somehow I can find its relation to this horizontal line. And when we add it to BG, which is equal to my height, I get the height of the tar. This relation is studied in trigonometry. And as the name suggests, tri means 3, gon is angle and metron is measurement. Trigonometry is the measurement of three-sided polygon, that is a triangle. The relation is through this angle theta. So trigonometry gives the relation between sides and angles of a triangle using some new things called functions which are also called trigonometric ratios. We will study them in the next topic of this chapter. So this was just the starting of trigonometry. If you don't think this explanation is correct, we would love to hear your views in the comments. Now, why do we need trigonometric ratios? What is their importance? Hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our next video in which we will answer these questions. We will be releasing it coming Saturday. Why do we need numbers? Why algebra? What are polygons? Click the video links on the screen to find out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.